good day all. Today is a lovely day and we're heading to Santa Barbara, California for our monthly visit at the St. Clair Poor Church. And we're going to take you to the best places here in L.A., California. These are our noticeable restaurants that are gems that you should try. Hi everyone, this is Earl once again with another day with Earl and today I'm going to take you to one of the best restaurants here in Koreatown, the Sunungdong. Sunungdong is located at the 6th Street of Wilshire Boulevard in Koreatown. During COVID-19, they have outdoor patio dining that can accommodate four people, and they have dividers. However, there's no reservations required. As an additional precaution, they added a scanner for temperature check for each and everyone who wants to dine in at Sanangdan. And here are the appetizers while waiting for the main course. So we ordered the Galbi Chim. It's a braised beef short rib served in a big stone pot that is good for four to five people. But if you're a party of six, I would suggest you get the large size and add an additional cheese on top of the braised beef to make it more tastier. Thank you. Next up, we're going to go to Farmer's Market for our dessert. For some desserts, we're going to go to Edo Bites at the Farmer's Market near the Fountain area. This is located in the Grove Fairfax and this space is used to be a lottery, a French bakery that is now replaced by Edobites. Edobites is actually owned by Chef Baldi who is also the owner of the Baldi Restaurant in Beverly Hills, California. Next up, we're going to go to Fairfax at the Farmer's Market.
And here's another restaurant that you can try for desserts, the local peasant. Local Peasant is located in Sherman Oaks and Ventura Boulevard, but you won't notice it because it's located along the streets in front of Ralph's Grocery Store. This is a bar in a gastro pub, but they really have good desserts, so I'm including it on one of my little gems here in LA. <laughs> It is kind of chilly so I ordered a cup of coffee. It is an Irish coffee. It comes with a whiskey and a whipped cream to mix together. Um, it's kind of new to me so I kind of don't like it but you should try it because it's an Irish coffee. Just so you try it. I guess the water needs to be more hotter. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification button so you can be updated on my next trip. Goodbye!